The Green Hornet is a fictional masked crime fighter created in 1936 by George W. Trendle and Fran Stryker, with input from radio director James Jewell. Since his 1930s radio debut, the character has appeared in numerous serialized dramas in a wide variety of media. The Green Hornet appeared in film serials in the 1940s, a television show in the 1960s, multiple comic book series from the 1940s on, and a feature film in January 2011. The franchise is owned by Green Hornet, Inc., who license the property across a wide variety of media that includes comics, films, TV shows, radio and books. As of the 2010s, the comic book rights are licensed to Dynamite Entertainment. History Though various incarnations sometimes change details, in most versions the Green Hornet is the alter ego of Britt Reid, wealthy young publisher of the Daily Sentinel newspaper by day. But by night, clad in a long green overcoat, gloves, green fedora hat and green mask, Reid fights crime as the mysterious vigilante known as the Green Hornet and is accompanied by his loyal and similarly masked partner and confidant, Cato, who drives their technologically advanced car, the Black Beauty. Though both the police and the general public believe the Hornet to be a wanted criminal, Reed uses that perception to help him infiltrate the underworld, leaving behind for the police the criminals and any incriminating evidence he has found. In the original radio incarnation, Britt Reed is the son of Dan Reed Jr., the nephew of John Reed, the Lone Ranger, making the Green Hornet the grand nephew of the Ranger. The relationship is alluded to at least once in the radio shows, when Dan Reed visits his son to question him on why Britt has never captured the Hornet. On learning the truth behind his son's dual identity, Dan Reed recalls his days riding in Texas with his uncle, as the William Tell Overture plays briefly and softly in the background. Radio series The character debuted in The Green Hornet, an American radio program that premiered on January 31, 1936, on WXYZ, the same local Detroit station that originated its companion shows The Lone Ranger and Challenge of the Yukon. Beginning on April 12, 1938, the station supplied the series to the Mutual Broadcasting System Radio Network, and then to NBC Blue and its successors, the Blue Network and ABC, from November 16, 1939, through September 8, 1950. It returned from September 10 to December 5, 1952. It was sponsored by General Mills from January to August 1948, and by Orange Crush in its brief 1952 run. Topic Film Topic Serials The Green Hornet was adapted into two movie serials, 1940's The Green Hornet and, in 1941, The Green Hornet Strikes Again. Disliking the treatment Republic gave the Lone Ranger in two serials, George W. Trendle took his property to Universal Pictures, and was much happier with the results. The first serial, titled simply The Green Hornet, 1940, starred Gordon Jones in the title role, albeit dubbed by original radio Hornet Al Hodge whenever the hero's mask was in place, while The Green Hornet strikes again. 1941, starred Warren Hull. Kai Luke, who played the number one son. In the Charlie Chan films, played Cato in both. Also starring in both serials were Ann Nagel as Lenore Case, Britt Reed's secretary, and Wade Bottler as Mike Axford, a reporter for the Daily Sentinel, the newspaper that Reed owned and published. Ford Beebe directed both serials, partnered by Ray Taylor on The Green Hornet and John Rollins on The Green Hornet Strikes Again, with George H. Plimpton and Basil Dickey contributing to the screenplays for both serials. The Green Hornet ran for 13 chapters while The Green Hornet Strikes Again, had 15 installments, with The Hornet and Cato smashing a different racket in each chapter. In each serial, they were all linked to a single major crime syndicate which was itself put out of business in the finale, while the radio program had the various rackets completely independent of each other. Topic. Portrayed in Dragon, The Bruce Lee Story 
The 1993 American semi-fictionalized film biography Dragon, The Bruce Lee Story, in which Jason Scott Lee no relation portrayed Bruce Lee, featured scenes involving the filming of the TV series The Green Hornet. Van Williams, who starred in that TV series, appeared in the film as the show's director. Topic: The Green Hornet 1994. Topic: The Green Hornet 2006. A 10-minute 2006 French short film, Le Freelin Vert, is based on the Green Hornet. Topic: The Legend of the Fist: The Return of Chen Zhen 2010. In this Hong Kong martial arts movie, protagonist Chen Zhen Donnie Yen dresses as a masked vigilante based on the Green Hornet sidekick Kato. The Green Hornet 2011. A film version of the character had been contemplated since the 1990s, with Universal Pictures and Miramax each attempting to develop a film. Eventually, Sony Pictures, through its subsidiary Columbia Pictures, released an action comedy Green Hornet feature on January 14, 2011, starring Seth Rogen, who co-wrote the script with Evan Goldberg. It was directed by Michel Gondry. J. Cho co-starred as Cato. Also starring were Cameron Diaz as Lenore Case, Edward James Olmos as Mike Axe Ford, David Harbour as Frank Scanlon, Christoph Waltz as the main villain Benjamin Chudnovsky, and Tom Wilkinson as James Reed. Topic. Reboot Deadline.com has reported that Paramount Pictures and Chernin Entertainment have acquired the rights to The Green Hornet and have started preliminary work on developing a reboot with Gavin O'Connor attached to produce and direct the film and Sean O'Keefe writing. Topic. Television The Green Hornet was a television series shown on the ABC US television network. It aired for the 1966-1967 television season and starred Van Williams as both the Green Hornet and Britt Reid, and Bruce Lee as Cato. Williams and Lee's Green Hornet and Cato appeared as anti-heroes in the second season of the live-action 1960s Batman TV series, in the two-part episodes, A Piece of the Action, and Batman Satisfaction. The episode ended with Robin questioning whether the Green Hornet was really a good guy or a bad guy, even Batman himself was not sure. Unlike the campy version of Batman, this version of the Green Hornet was played more seriously. <laughs> Topic. Comic books Topic. Early comics Green Hornet comic books began in December 1940. The series, titled Green Hornet Comics, was published by Helnick Comics sometimes called Holyoke, with the writing attributed to Fran Stryker. This series ended after six issues. Several months later, Harvey Comics launched its own version, beginning with issue number seven. This series lasted until issue number 47 in 1949. During that time it also changed its title twice, first to Green Hornet Fights Crime, issue number 34, and later to Green Hornet, Racket Buster, issue number 44. Harvey additionally used the character in the public service one-shot War Victory comics in 1942, and gave him one adventure in each of two issues of all new comics, number 13, where he was also featured on the cover, and number 14, in 1946. In 1953, several months after the radio series ended, Dell Comics published a one-shot with the character, officially entitled Four Color Number 496. Both stories therein share titles with late-era radio episodes, The Freightyard Robberies, June 23, 1949, and The Proof of Treason, October 17, 1952, and might be adaptations. 
In 1967, Gold Key Comics produced a three-issue series based on the TV show. Topic. Now Comics In 1989, Now Comics introduced a line of Green Hornet comics, initially written by Ron Fortier and illustrated by Jeff Butler. It attempted to reconcile the different versions of the character into a multi-generational epic. This took into account the character's ancestral connection to the Lone Ranger, though due to the legal separation of the two properties, his mask covered his entire face as in the Republic serials and he could not be called by name. In this interpretation, the Brit of the radio series had fought crime as the Hornet in the 1930s and 1940s before retiring. In Now's first story, in Green Hornet No. 1, November 1989, set in 1945, the nationality of the original Kato named in this comic series Ikano Kato is given as Japanese, but because of the American policy regarding the Japanese minority during World War II, Reed referred to Kato as Filipino in order to prevent Kato's being sent to an American internment camp. The Now Comics considered the 1960s television character as the namesake nephew of the original, 1930s to 1940s Brit Reed, referred to as Brit Reed II, in the genealogy, who took up his uncle's mantle after a friend is assassinated. Brit Reed II eventually retired due to a heart attack, and Kato, given the first name Hayashi, after that of the first actor to play Kato on radio, goes on to become a star of ninja movies. The Now Comics established Hayashi Kato as Ikano Kato's son. Britt Reed's nephew, Paul Reed, a concert pianist, takes on the role of the Hornet after his older brother Alan, who had first taken on the mantle, is killed on his debut mission. Paul Reed is assisted by Mishi Kato, Hayashi's much younger half-sister who was trained by Ikano Kato. Her being female caused problems between the publishers and the rights holders, who withdrew approval of that character and mandated the return of the Bruce Lee Cato. After Mishi's departure, explained as orders from her father to replace an injured automobile designer at the Zurich, Switzerland, facility of the family corporation, Nippon Today, Hayashi Cato returned to crime fighting alongside the Paul Reed Green Hornet. Mishi Cato returned in Volume 2 as the Crimson Wasp, following the death of her Swiss police officer fiancé, on orders of a criminal leader. In Now's final two issues, Volume 2, Hash 39-40, a fourth Kato, Kono Kato, grandson of Ikano and nephew of Hayashi and Mishi, took over as Paul Reed's fellow masked vigilante. The comics also introduced Diana Reed, the original Brit Reed's daughter, who had become district attorney after the TV series Frank Scanlon had retired. A romantic relationship eventually formed between her and Hayashi Kato. Now's first series began in 1989 and lasted 14 issues. Volume 2 began in 1991 and lasted 40 issues, ending in 1995 when the publisher went out of business. Cato starred solo in a four-issue miniseries in 1991, and a two-issue follow-up in 1992, both written by Mike Barron. He also wrote a third, first announced as a two-issue miniseries, then as a graphic novel, but it was never released due to the company's collapse. Tales of the Green Hornet, consisting of nine issues spread out over three volumes, two, four, and three issues, respectively, presented stories of the two previous Hornets. Volume 1 featured Green Hornet 2, and its story was plotted by Van Williams, star of the 1960s TV series, and scripted by Bob Ingersoll. The follow-ups were written by James Van Hise. Other miniseries included the three-issue The Green Hornet, Solitary Sentinel, the four-issue Sting of the Green Hornet, set during World War II and Clint McElroy's three-issue Dark Tomorrow, June-August 1993, featuring a criminal Green Hornet in 2080 being fought by the Cato of that era, discounting depictions of the cars utilized by the 1940s and 1960s Hornets. There were two versions of the Black Beauty used in the now comic series. The first was based on the Pontiac Banshee. The second was a four-door sedan based on the 11th generation Oldsmobile 98 Touring Sedan. Topic: <laughs> Dynamite Entertainment. In March 2009, Dynamite Entertainment announced it had acquired the license to produce Green Hornet comic books. Its first release was a miniseries written by Kevin Smith with pencils by Jonathan Lau. 
Revamped in 2010 is an ongoing series set in modern times. The New Green Hornet stars Britt Reed Jr., the rebellious and spoiled son of Britt Reed Sr., now a retired industrial and family man. When Britt Sr. is slain by the Black Hornet, a Yakuza mobster whose family was shamed by the original Green Hornet, the aging but still fit Kato returns. With his daughter, Mulan Kato, who has taken over the costumed identity of her father, he brings Brit Jr. to China for training and safekeeping as he becomes the new Green Hornet. Writer Jay Nitz is also writing Green Hornet, Parallel Lives, a miniseries prequel to the 2011 Green Hornet feature film. In 2013, an eight-issue miniseries called Masks brought together famous heroes from the pulp era. It starred The Shadow, The Green Hornet and Kato, The Spider and a 1930s descendant of Zorro. It was written by Chris Roberson with art by Alex Ross and Dennis Calero. In March 2014, Kevin Smith and Ralph Garman stated that they were collaborating on a crossover title, Batman 66 Meets the Green Hornet. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Comic Strip In 2018, The Green Hornet appeared in newspaper strips as a guest star in Dick Tracy by Mike Curtis script and Joe Staten art, continuing the trend of Tracy stories reviving characters from defunct strips. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Prose fiction. Western publishing subsidiary Whitman Books released four works of text fiction based on the character, targeting younger readers. There were three entries in the children's line of profusely illustrated Big Little Books, The Green Hornet Strikes, The Green Hornet Returns, and The Green Hornet Cracks Down, in 1940, 1941 and 1942, respectively, all attributed to Fran Stryker. In 1966, their line for older juveniles included Green Hornet, Case of the Disappearing Doctor, by Brandon Keith, a tie-in to the television series. At about the same time, Dell Publishing released a mass-market paperback, The Green Hornet in the Infernal Light by Ed Friend, not only derived from the small screen production as well, but allegedly based on one of the TV episodes. In 2009, Moonstone Books gained the prose license and has released three Green Hornet anthologies as part of its Chronicles line, The Green Hornet Chronicles, The Green Hornet Case Files, and The Green Hornet, Still at Large. <laughs> <laughs> Merchandising Few examples of Green Hornet merchandise have appeared since the 1960s. To coincide with the 2011 movie, Factory Entertainment produced six-inch action figures and a die-cast Black Beauty, among other collectibles. Hollywood Collectibles has made a full-size prop gas gun replica. Mezco Toys has made a set of 12-inch action figures, with the prototypes donated to the Museum of the Moving Image, CKE Restaurants, Inc., the parent company of Carl's Jr. and Hardee's, teamed with the studio on a promotional marketing partnership that included commercials featuring Seth Rogen and Jay Cho in character as the Green Hornet and Kato, a beverage promotion with Dr. Pepper, the Green Hornet food items, kids' meal toys, and employee uniforms, and a contest with the grand prize of the Black Beauty car from the film, in June 2018, the toy company Funko released a Funko Pop of the Green Hornet. In other popular culture Art, entertainment, and media The 1960s cartoon series Batfink was a parody of both Batman and the Green Hornet. Batfink rode in a pink vehicle called the Battleac, which was driven by his assistant Karate who was a martial artist. Bill Cosby parodied the Green Hornet in his C. 1970 syndicated five-minute daily radio program, The Brown Hornet, which he revived in the late 1970s for his Fat Albert and the Cosby Kids cartoon show. Inspector Clouseau's valet, houseboy is called Cato, spelled with a C, instead of a K, and his car in the film Revenge of the Pink Panther, 1978, is a heavily modified Citroen 2CV, the Silver Hornet.
Season 6 of The Venture Bros introduces parody characters of Green Hornet and Kato from 1960s TV show in the form of the masked crime fighter Blue Morpho and his assistant Kano in a flashback, the latter having later become a member of the original team Venture. It is also revealed that Blue Morpho was the father of the orphaned villain The Monarch, and he and Henchman 21 later take on the roles of the Blue Morpho and Kano respectively. Topic. People Mark Tennant, a Calgary alderman, was nicknamed the Green Hornet during World War II. During his military service with the Calgary Highlanders, it was said he always knew where the bad guys were during his tours as an orderly officer. <laughs>